place you've probably never been to. The Cooper River, it empties in Camden, it was once 40% raw sewage. But thanks to the 1971 Clean Water Act and other efforts in recent decades, life has returned to that river. A recent six-day expedition set out to open the world's eyes to a wonder in our Jersey backyard. News 12's Brian Donahue went right to the source. A swarm of biting flies is chasing my van down this dirt road in Gibbsboro, Camden County. I'm hearing gunshots from off in the woods, and when I pass this sign saying you're no longer trespassing, you're now a target, I know it's uh, time to turn around. That's it, yeah. All right. But a local resident named Joe saves the day and safely guides me to today's destination, a crystal clear spring-fed pond that was recently determined to be the source of the Cooper River, which empties into the Delaware at Camden, 16 miles away. There it is. This is the spot. This little trickle of a stream coming out of the pond. Even locals like Joe weren't sure this cherished secret spot was the source of the river until last month, when a six-day expedition set out to follow the entire length of the river ended up here. The team consisted of seven Camden teenagers, Camden County Parks officials, and nature photographer, and members of Upstream Alliance, a nonprofit that seeks to promote public access to waterways. I want people to realize that this is in their backyard, that it's something that we can do here, that you don't have to go to the Adirondacks or the Poconos to, to be able to experience. Like many rivers in New Jersey, I was reminded of the Rawway and the Elizabeth Rivers closer to my neck of the woods. The Cooper River meanders through urban and suburban landscapes where it all but disappears out of sight and out of mind. The goal of the expedition was to start changing that. And I had moments that I was like, I couldn't believe that I was doing it. It was a trip that very well may have never been done before, and one that would surpass many backwoods treks for adventure, carrying boats over beaver dams, slogging through mud, bushwhacking trails, eating wild blueberries, and camping in the urban wild among turkeys, foxes, beavers, and bald eagles. These teens emerged with a story to tell their grandchildren, but first, more importantly, the public. Maybe it'll help the river. Maybe people will take care of it more, take the trash out of it, stop throwing trash in it. Um, I don't know, maybe hike to a different part of the river to just, you know, look at it, you know, just look at all its beauty. <laughs> Locals around the pond here think the focus on the river and getting more people out on it is all good, so long as this fragile little pond remains the secret it's always been. Given how hard it is to get here, either by trekking in upstream or the cheating shortcut I used, that's probably not a concern. So while it's great to know the river's being rediscovered by the masses, it's also great to know there's still little secrets like this one around, too. I'm Brian Donahue. This is Positively New Jersey. Amazing find right there. The expedition is going to be the focus of a documentary out this fall called Search for the Cooper, a river hidden in plain view. And by the way, those gunshots that Brian heard, he later learned they were from a nearby police practice range.